Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have another Vesta tutorial for you. We're actually going to be making part two of a video that I made a long time ago, sometime back in March. It's the copper 111 surface and graphene heterostructure. So what I have here are, I have a, if you go back to that video, I have a copper 111 face. Um, I've saved this in fractional coordinates. So what I've done is I've gone to file export data, and then I resave it, so copper 111 face.vasp, okay? I save it as, um, I replace it, and I save it as fractional coordinates. And I've done the same for the graphene. And so what you'll end up doing is you are gonna open up your copper 111 face. Again, you need to go back and make these structures, which we did in part one uh, a while ago. And then what you do is I'm going to go to edit edit data unit cell, I'm going to import the graphene structure. So phase, import, graphene. Now these are in fractional coordinates. And you can see here um, that there's a small lattice mismatch between the two. Um, so what I do is I'm going to, and this only really is viable if it's a really small lattice mismatch, um, which this is like less than 5%, I think on each side, just about less than 5% here. Um, I'm going to uh, make the lattice dimensions for the graphene. So this will be in the B dimension for the graphene. I'm going to make it same as the copper. And in the A dimension, I'm going to make it same as copper as well. Okay, so I'll exit out of here. And I'm going to exit out of here. I do that with Control W. Then I'm going to come here to my text editor. And I'm going to go to the copper uh, 111 face that I have uh, as the vast file for the copper where the 111 face is exposed in the C dimension. I'm going to copy these uh, A and B unit cell vectors. Now these coordinates here must be in fractional coordinates. That's especially important for this graphene. It must be in fractional coordinates. I'm going to overwrite the A and B vectors in graphene with copper. Save it. Now when I open these up, I'm going to um, open up copper, just like I did before. Then I'm going to edit, edit data phase. And I'm going to import the graphene again that we just changed, apply. So now you can see the unit cells overlap perfectly. Um, so, because we did in fractional coordinates, the atomic displacements are sort of applied uniformly throughout the graphene. Then let's go ahead and let's visualize it on A. So you can see, we're gonna shift the graphene. So I'm clicking on the graphene here. That's this name, name C. I'm gonna shift it up seven, actually eight. And the reason I do eight is because if you go to space filling, you can see it's sitting just on top of the copper. Then I'm gonna select okay. Now let's go to edit bonds and I'm gonna select the graphene and I'm just gonna click, uh, click this and press delete, apply. Now all we need to do, is we're going to delete these uh, atoms here. I'm gonna press C again and I'm gonna destroy periodicity for copper in the A and B as well as for graphene. So periodicity is destroyed in the B for both structures and I have to destroy it in A. The reason is because I'm going to save all of this as an XYZ. Um, so let's go ahead and save as an X. Let's double check that that actually did what it was supposed to do. Yeah, it did. Okay, so delete this. I'm going to save as an XYZ. So file export data. I'm going to call it copper 101 face graphene hetero. And this is actually going to be saved as an XYZ. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up the copper 111 face. I just would like an extra VASP file to manipulate. So I'll file export data. I'm just going to export this as a VASP file again, but I'm going to call it um, copper 111 face graphene hetero.vasp. Save. Uh, save it in fractional coordinates. That's fine. Now what we do is we're going to go into our copper 111 phase graphene hetero XYZ. I'm going to copy these atoms here. I'm going to place them in the VASP file. So we have how many copper? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight copper and four carbon. So this is copper 111 phase graphene hetero just changing the name. 
And I'm going to go ahead now and uh, change the C direction to um, 20. I'm going to save it. And now let's open up this file. Oops. So what happened here is I did not delete the atomic labels. So let's go back to VASP. Open this up. We have to delete these atomic labels. So basically VASP takes this information here and assigns the atomic label. So the first eight will be copper, then the following four will be carbon. So let's reopen that back up. Um, so what happened was, I guess, uh, hmm, let me think about this. The C and A dimensions seem to be fine. That's copied fine. Um, so what this means is that when I um, these need to be these need to become this needs to become Cartesian actually. In the final structure, this must be Cartesian. Okay, let's reopen it now. Okay. There we go. There we have it. So now what we'll do is we'll actually just delete these carbon uh, copper bonds. Okay, this is just for visualization. We can delete these as well up here because these are repeats. And yes, there is your graphene copper one 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 face uh, <coughs> interface. So it's an interface between graphene monolayer and the copper one 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 face. Um, we can do space filling model. There it is. Uh, let's go ahead and expand it a little bit. So I'm going to do uh, three by three in the x and y, and I'll do a minus one as well. Yes, so there it is. There's graphene sitting atop the copper 111 surface. And this concludes part two of the part one video that I made a long time ago. So, um, yep, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down below. And um, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.